Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to part number six of Let's Play The Sims 4 Parenthood. And we are picking up exactly where we left off in the last part. So, our little one here, I forgot his name, <laughs> Caleb, is going to be aging up later tonight. And I have planned that we will have a birthday party for him uh, by the time dad comes home. But before then, we're going to go ahead and have Amanda start cooking up a um, cake. Not really cooking, but more like baking. So I'm going to have her go ahead and do that here. Um, cook. And we're going to take a look here. Should I do a chocolate cake, hamburger cake, or a white cake? You know what? Let's do a hamburger cake because why not? Oh, but first she wants to eat some food. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to have her just go ahead and eat the rest of this BLT sandwich. Why doesn't she like anything? Look at her face. Oh, now she looks happy. I don't get it. She didn't look very happy at first. She looked like she hated it at first. Yeah, see, now she's smiling because she knows I'm staring directly at her. But when she took the first bite, she's like, ugh. <laughs> Hurry up and eat your sandwich. There we go. Okay, so she's going to go ahead and bake the cake. I honestly doubt... Whoa. I honestly doubt if you can use the cake to age up a baby into a toddler because I know that you can use the cake for, you know, when they're toddlers or kids or teens or young adults or adults. But, um, whether we can or not, I just don't want to bake a cake anyway. Because <laughs> I think it actually gets our baking skill up. It's either cooking skill or baking skill. I'm not too sure. Oh, it looks so cool! It's a giant cheeseburger! That's so cool. Okay, we're not going to touch it yet. We're going to go ahead and put it in the fridge until Dad gets home. And then we're going to go ahead and have the party when he gets home. Ooh, sloppy code. Jackson notices that his new co-worker has introduced a huge bug. Does he tell their future producer or keep quiet and try to fix him? Um, we had this one earlier, didn't we? And I think I read it wrong. Quiet and try to fix it for him. No, we turn him in. <gasps> yes, we're just gonna keep getting promoted. I, I hope we get promoted today. He's been working hard all day long. He's actually starting to get a little strained. But it's been a long day for him. But wow, if we keep getting these things and keep getting performance increases, and if we continue to get our daily task done and all of our promotional tasks, we will get promoted fairly quickly. That's the awesome part about that. Anyways, I'm going to have her go ahead and take a shower and use the restroom. Because I don't remember if I already had her do that. Plus, her her, uh, her hygiene is getting kind of low anyway, so it's fine. She's always singing. I'm just going to spy on her while she's showering. Hello in there. I can see you shower. <laughs> that is so me when I'm showering. <laughs> Ooh, the Spice Festival's in town. Click on any of the dynamic signs around town to find out more. Ooh. That's not interesting. I think the baby's upset. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and keep talking to the baby because I want to try to improve our relationship with him as much as we can before we age him up today. Go ahead and make silly face, cuddle, coo at, bounce. This is the easiest way to get your relationship up with your children is when they're babies. It's so easy to go up and it basically cannot go down because there's nothing mean that you can say to them as a baby that will like hurt their feelings or anything. That's when they're, you know, when they become toddlers, that's when things get a little crazy. That's so cute. <laughs> Alright, so after we change the diaper, we're going to go ahead and... We'll bottle feed now, because it's been some time since we've had the baby. I usually like to breastfeed at first. I don't know if it really changes anything, but I usually do that because... You know, it's better for the baby to breastfeed. And in real life, it is better for the baby to breastfeed. And you gain the parenting skill as you're talking. That's awesome. Reach parenting level five. Amanda can now ground children who misbehave. For a softer approach, she can discuss the bad behavior and hug it out. She can also have access to more way, have access to more ways to solve a kid's motives. That is awesome. 
Oh my god. She's going to the going to the spice festival, but we have the birthday tonight, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that, and I know you need to get your fun up. So what I'm actually gonna have you do is I'm not gonna have you sit down and watch a movie. Congratulations on getting that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Thank you. And I will probably end up getting another promotion. And he's still working hard, even though he's super stressed out. Yeah, he's really stressed. Johnny Depp is not looking too good, guys. He is not looking too good. Oh, and he brought home 423 simoleons, and he did superb work. Awesome. I know. Look at him. He's feeling stressed out. We have a lot of negative moodlets on his plate right now. Very tense, desperate for fun from low fun, in desperate need of some fun activities, stressed from work. Wow, stressed from working too hard and confronted by coworker, trying to be honest, has some humiliating consequences. That is true, so he is feeling embarrassed about that. He wants to take a mud bath, but we don't have a bathtub, so we can't do that. So it looks like we're just gonna have to talk with our child for a little bit. Before we age him up, I do want him to continue talking with him because our relationship is not as high as a minute as blah, 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 I can't speak as Amanda's is. So we're just gonna keep the interactions coming here. Uh, Look, see? Her bar's almost full. His is like halfway. And he's gonna be the more strict parent. So he's gonna be the one that loses the most relationship when that baby grows up anyway. So we gotta get it together. We gotta get it together now. She's so cute. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh. So cute. I can connect to my Twitter now. Oh, I love this. Wait, I wanna log into my Twitter. Can I log in? Can you log me in? I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, at least we tried, right? At least we tried. Just get your relationship up with Caleb as high as you can. I know, and I feel like he's about to age up. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the cake out before he ages up. We're gonna sit it right here and we're gonna go ahead and... <gasps> Is it too late for me to put... Oh my god. It's too late for me to put candles on it. It's because it's because I put it away in the fridge. That's why. Shoot. Oh, I put it away too quickly. Oh my god. Alright, well we'll put that cake away and then we'll bake another one. Hey, at least she's getting more cooking skill out of it. That's how I look at it. She's getting more cooking skill out of it. And we're going to do another hamburger cake. I doubt I doubt we're going to have enough time, though. Bounce, kuat, cuddle. Just keep it coming. Girl, go cook. Go. No, stop bugging me. You call me like three times a day asking to hang out. I am a mother and a soon-to-be mother again. So, stop it. And they just became good friends. I'm happy. We're going to keep talking. We are just going to keep doing it. Yep, we're going to keep doing these interactions and get our relationship up as high as we can before this baby becomes a child. They are so cute together. Oh, they are so cute together. Oh, they are so cute together. And I must have some weak lights in this house because it is pretty dim and I don't like that. So I'm actually going to delete all of those lights and I'm going to get some brighter lights. Let me get me some brighter lights. It was this one, right? Jeez, why are they all so dim? That is, that is even worse. They're all dim. I don't like that. I might have to change the intensity of it. Well, we have this light. This is the one we originally had. And this one is a little bit brighter. So we're going to go ahead and use that one. Okay, this does look a lot better. That does look a lot better. And now we're going to set intensity to fully... What? 
Oh, it's because his queue was full. I was like, what? Set color and intensity to all lights. Really? Okay, so if you change the color, you can make it appear as if it's brighter. I do kind of like that. I don't want yellow. Oh my god, green? That's scary. That is kind of scary. Now this is more realistic, and it looks brighter. Look, I can actually see what they're doing inside of the house now. And their skin is not super duper duper dark. So let me get another screenshot. That's so cute, but first let me put the walls up. Oh my goodness, look at that. Oh my god, they're so cute. Kaya. <gasps> they're so cute. Yeah. That's right, you get that relationship up with that baby. You get it up. And look, he's getting his parenting skill up as well, which I'm really happy about. Girl, you better pull that cake out the oven. We don't got time for this long bacon stuff. There we go. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and add birthday candles. Now, how do we choose him to, to do it? How do we choose him to age up? I wanna celebrate. But it won't let me. It would be rude to take a slice of birthday cake before the candles have been blown out. <laughs> oh my god! That's funny. How do I have him do it? I don't want them to accidentally age up. Show off? <gasps> Let's do it. Let's do it. I want to see this. Show him off. Show him off. That's so cute. Show him off. Show him off. Show him off. You probably don't even want to. How about you show him off? Show him off. It doesn't work. It's, it's glitched. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and age him up. Oh my god, if we age him up, that means we gotta make a room for him, guys. And we broke. This might be his room. You might move the computer out. <gasps> oh no, no, he's itching up. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, no oh my god, there he goes. Toddlers, all oh, days spent playing with toys, exploring the world, and learning to communicate with words instead of tears await. This is the perfect time to start skill building for the future. Okay, so what kind of a kid will he be? Oh my goodness. When you think of Caleb, hmm, is Caleb gonna be? I don't even know. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. What kind of person is Caleb gonna be? That's the question. Um, hmm. Caleb. You know what? Caleb is gonna be the wild one. Yeah, Caleb is gonna be the wild one. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's so cute. Oh my gosh, there he is, guys. There he is. Hey, don't walk away from me. Don't you walk yeah, away. He's awesome. <laughs> oh my god, he's so cute. Look at him. <gasps> he doesn't have brown eyes, he has blue eyes. Oh my gosh, he's cute. Oh, that's so cute. <gasps> She's already instantly teaching him to walk. That's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, it's late. We're going to go ahead and have him head to sleep. He's probably going to get promoted tomorrow, which I am very, very, very happy about. All right, so you head to sleep. You head to sleep. And while they're sleeping, I'm going to renovate the room and stuff. I'm actually going to do that on camera. So here's what I'm going to do. 
So we don't need a bassinet anymore. We can sell that for 150 simoleons. Uh, we're going to move the bookshelf to, I think, the living room we might put it in. Yeah, we'll move the bookshelf in here. Jeez, there's like no room in this house. Whew. There's like no room. You can even see the toilet if you move it in there. That's the problem. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete that little wall thingy so that I can put it here. There we go. We'll put the bookshelf there and we'll actually move the computer out here to the living room. Or to the hallway room. And then this in here will be his bedroom. And I'm actually going to decorate that off camera for you guys. Um, and then I will be back on camera in the next part to show you what that looks like. But I'm actually going to have one of them get up. Who works in the morning? You work at 10 a.m. You are off today. Wait, no. that's That was earlier today. You actually work on Saturday. Saturday, 10 a.m. And he's off. Okay, he's off. So I'm actually going to have him wake up. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Parenting. That's awesome uh well we're gonna start off his toddler life by teaching him to say please and thank you and then you want to go ahead and teach him to say sorry oh he's so cute <gasps> we're gonna teach you manners look he's learning manners now you have to have manners buddy when you live in this world you have to have manners let me go ahead and get screenshots of daddy teaching you manners because that is absolutely adorable. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. They are so cute. Oh, they are so cute. Oh, they are so cute. Johnny Depp, daddy. Daddy, daddy Depp. <gasps> oh, they are so cute. Yeah, you gotta say please and thank you. So here's what the new panel looks like. Oh, it's so cool. I love it. Character values. So character values determines a sim's ability to adapt and behave effectively in everyday life. Each value can be positive or negative. Hover over each of the values below to view interactions that the child can do to influence character values. Parents can also influence these values by using parenting interactions. So that's pretty cool. So manners. Okay, so manners values can increase by friendly introductions, setting the table, cleaning up dishes, or giving compliments. Parents can also teach their kids to say please and thank you, which will help their manners. Negative manners are earned by burping or farting, swearing, and rude introductions. Talking, uh, toddlers talking I can't, I can't read. Toddlers taking their clothes off in front of strangers is also bad manners. So we cannot do that because then his manners will go down. Upon aging up to young adult, this sim can earn one of the following traits. Bad manners or good manners. So that's pretty cool. We have emotional control. Sims who redirect their negative emotions can build emotional control. They can do several winding down interactions on radios and instruments or jog to clear their mind. That is pretty cool. Having an emotional breakdown, shoving, or biting will negatively impact emotional control. Destroying dollhouses or school projects will also decrease this value. Upon aging up to young adult, this sim can earn one of the following traits. Uncontrolled emotions or emotional control. I do like that. Okay. So when you get negative emotions, how do you deal with that? Do you deal with that positively or do you deal with that negatively? That's what affects this one right here. Responsibility is the next one. Doing schoolwork and getting good grades will increase responsibility character values. Taking out trash, brushing teeth, cleaning up toys from the toy box will also have a positive impact. Finally, they make brushing your teeth impactful. I've been waiting for that. Positive or finally they make brushing your teeth, you know, it like impacts how your kids grow up. I've always wanted that. I hate how it's just a side thing that you, you know, you ha you didn't have to do. Now it kind of feels like you have to do it if you want your child to age up well. 
doing poorly in school, breaking curfew, or disobeying grounding will negatively impact responsibility. Toddlers and children making a mess will decrease responsibility, as will teens quitting their job. That's true, yeah. Upon aging up to young adults, this sim can earn one of the following traits. Irresponsible or responsible. Look, irresponsible is a picture of a broken egg. Irresponsible is a little hatchling. That's so cute. So we have empathy. Sims can increase their empathy by volunteering as a family or choosing socials that help others deal with negative moods. Children can play with their doc with their doctor playset as well. That's cute. Being mean, yelling at another sim, trolling on the computer, or hitting stuffed animals will decrease empathy. That's funny. Oh my god. Upon aging up to young adult, this sim can earn one of the following traits. Insensitive or compassionate. That's funny. Oh my god, I'm so ready. Conflict resolution. Sims can positively increase their conflict conflict resolution by being apologetic or by reconciling arguments. Parents can teach to say sorry as well. Trying to help fix bad relationships will also increase conflict resolution. Declaring enemies or despising sims can negatively impact conflict resolution as well as fighting or arguing. That is cool. Wow. Upon aging up to young adult, this sim can earn one of the following traits. Argumentative and medi- er, not meditator. Mediator? I think it's mediator. Are argumentative and mediator, which I think is like coming to a mutual agreement. I feel like that's what that means. So that's that, and I hope you guys are excited. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so excited to fully explore it. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make his room off camera. I'm going to change his clothes off camera, and you guys will see his whole new look and all that awesome stuff when we come back in the next part. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and add it to your favorites. Do not forget to click the subscribe button and the little bell next to that, and you'll be notified whenever I upload a video. And don't forget to follow me on social media. Links to all of that will be in the comment section below. I love you all so much, and I'll see you guys in the next part, which I think will be part seven. Bye, guys.